never met a child willing to give up their mother. So instead I ask, do we have your blessing for this marriage today? Yes. We are gathered here today to unite Jessica and Jason in marriage. The celebration is but an outward sign of an inward union of heart, mind, and spirit. This is a celebration of the joining of two souls, 
already attuned to each other. When such a true bond already exists between a man and a woman, it is fitting that an outward acknowledgement be made. We are here to bear witness to the entry into the closer relationship as husband and wife of these beloved friends who are already one in spirit. Will you, Jessica, have this man from this day forward to be your wedded husband in times of celebration, in times of sadness, in times of pleasure, and in times of pain, in times of sickness, and in times of health? If so, say, I will. I will. Will you, Jason, have this woman from this day forward to be your wedded wife in times of celebration, in times of sadness, in times of pleasure, and in times of pain, in times of sickness, and in times of health. If so, say, I will. I will. Before they exchange vows, Jason and Jessica would like to say a few words to each other. Jason, I knew our first date that you were the man who would change my life forever. You saw past my insecurity, brought down my walls, and loved me for me. You taught me that being me is okay, and I, no matter how much I doubted, was worthy of honesty and love. You're such an amazing man, and you've been such a positive influence in my life, but most of all, in Brandon's and Riley's as well. Every day is special, and every moment we have together means so much. Here we stand today not only as lovers and friends, but in a few moments as husband and wife. You never cease to make me laugh, smile, and sometimes cry from laughing so hard, and I couldn't ask for more. <laughs> you are my forever, and I will love you always. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to transition here. All right. When I met you over five years ago, I had no expectations. A friend called and asked if I want to go to a Christmas party with her co-worker, and despite having every reason to say no, I said yes. From that day on, however, my life changed. I found someone who I know will stick with me through difficult times because you have already helped me through them. I found someone who is beautiful, honest, quirky, funny, and loyal. I found someone who enjoys going out and doing things together, but is just as happy staying home for a quiet night alone. You accept me as I am and allow me to just be Jason the good and the bad. I can talk to you about anything and you will always listen, even if I'm boring you to tears talking about computers, softball, or poker. <laughs> Today, I'm lucky enough to marry someone who I can honestly call my best friend. I get to become a father for two wonderful children who I love very much. Whatever life brings our family, the three of you can know that as long as I'm alive, you will never be alone and you'll be loved unconditionally. I look forward to the good times, the not so good times, and everything in between. Jessica and Jason are here to marry each other. No one else's will can create such a union. It is their words, their intentions, their vision that must define and shape this marriage. So I call upon them now to state their promise before this group the pledges that will bind them together. Jason. Jason. As your wife. As your wife. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Trust your love. Trust your love. Be responsive to your needs. Be responsive to your needs. Communicate my feelings. Communicate my feelings. And behave in a way. And behave in a way. That shows my love and respect. That shows my love and respect. I say these things. I say these things. Because I love you. Because I love you. And I want to live out the days of my life with you. And I want to live out the days of my life with you. Jessica. Jessica. As your husband. As your husband. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Trust your love. Trust your love. Be responsive to your needs. Be responsive to your needs. Communicate my feelings. Communicate my feelings. And behave in a way that shows my love and respect. I say these things because I love you. I say these things because I love you. 
I want to live out the days of my life with you. And I want to live out the days of my life with you. Anything else, The circle has frequently been used to symbolize eternity. The ring, like the circle, is a reminder of the perfection and endurance of Jessica and Jason's commitment to and love for one another. Jason, as you place the ring on Jessica's finger, please repeat after me. I offer my vow to you. I offer my vow to you. In the form of this ring. In the form of this ring. So that my word and my love. So that my word and my love will always be will always be with you. Close to your heart. Close to your heart. I offer my vow to you. In the form of this ring. So that my word and my love will always be with you. Close to your heart. I ask that your home be a place of happiness for all who enter it, and a place where the old and the young are renewed in each other's company, a place for growing, a place for music and celebration, a place for laughter and goofing off. And when life seems to be too much, or you just had a rough day, may your home always be a place of refuge, where every one of you can find the comfort of always knowing that you will be accepted and loved unconditionally. Jessica and Jason, if there is anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, may it be the love that brought you here today. It is only love which can make it a glorious union, and by love which your marriage shall endure. Today your separate lives with your individual memories, desires, and hopes merge into one. You are now taking into your care and keeping the happiness of the one person in the entire world whom you love above all others. You're adding to your life not only the affection of each other, but also the companionship and blessing of a deep trust as well. You're agreeing to share strength, responsibilities, and to share love. May you be a blessing and comfort to each other, sharers of each other's dreams, conscience of each other's sorrows, helpers to each other in all of life's challenges. May you encourage each other in whatever you set out to achieve. May you trust each other, trust life, and be unafraid. May you love each other and offer love and support to those around you. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. And may life grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. Throughout this ceremony, Jessica and Jason have vowed in our presence, to be loyal and loving towards each other. They have formalized the existence of the bond between them with words spoken and with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, it is my pleasure to now pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
It is with great honor that I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Frank.
All right, so if you got your pictures of them, which if everyone saw it, they're going to be black metal later, but I believe Jessica will pay for that at some point, I'm not sure. If you would follow the bride and groom, the wedding party, and their family over to the opposite side there where the dinner is set up. We are now going to bring to the floor one more time your guest of honor, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Frank, walking into the room again. They are going to do their first dance as husband and wife. If you've got your camera, you got your video camera, your telephone camera, get your cameras. Jessica and her father will be played by her father so
We have the dollar dance, and this is where it's your last chance to get to dance with Jessica or Jason, but it's going to cost you. So. We got about two more songs. About three and a half minutes if you want to dance with the bride or groom one last time.
will get a chance to dance with them throughout the evening if you'd like to, but it may cost you more next time. So now we're going to go ahead and I believe, are you guys ready to dance, have a little party maybe? There's some of them. It is a celebration, so we're starting the celebration. Where's all those kids that were wanting to dance a while ago?
if he had enough gumption juice, he was going to come dance to. But if he doesn't come dance to it, we will play it again. I believe Jessica went to find him, though.
Thank you. 